Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Mothmen 1966. This was developed by LCP Game Studio, published by Chorus Worldwide Games and is available for £6.79 UK or $8.99 US. So this is a really cool visual novel. I know, a visual novel where you actually have to play and not just mash the A button 100 times, that's insanity right? Uh, but we play as a few characters, although we end up just sticking with the ones down the middle, who ends up getting in this big tussle with the weird creatures of the night. And no, I'm not talking about the wannabe goth kids who think they're vampires. I'm on about just regular old crack spice heroin heads. Uh, uh, I mean, monsters, of course, just, just monsters. Um, now, as for achievements and trophies, a lot can be missed, so pay attention to what options I tell you to pick. Plus, we have a stupid luck-based a uh, randomly generated one with Solitaire. I know you all just shuddered at the thought of Solitaire as well, but it's not as bad as normal Solly, so I will show you later. We'll get that at the very end of the game. But all in all, depending again on the Solitaire one, you will get this done within 30 to 40 minutes, maybe a touch longer, but it is a good one. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And the first thing then that we're going to do, <clears throat> as I clear the frog in my throat, we're going to go down to settings, go up to message speed, and turn the dial all the way up to the right, which just makes things go a lot faster. Unless, of course, you're very interested in the dialogue, then by all means. So we're just going to mash the dialogue here. Every character, we're just going to choose the one in the middle, that's fine. And then we're just going to spam the A button, slash cross button, to spam through the dialogue. Choose a black card for the first option. And then again, like I said, with all dialogue, just keep spamming the A button. Uh, you can press the left bumper, slash uh, the one on the PlayStation, left bumper as well. Um, but it's just easier to use the uh, A slash cross button. Next, we're going to look through the window. And then we're going to go back in. You darn kids get the hell off my lawn. Yeah, it's, it's that kind of, yeah, it's that kind of grandpa style stuff. Right, so this is the first missable achievement. So what we're going to do is grab something from the lower shelf. And this does take a, a minute or two. We're going to grab a box. And then we are going to replace something from the upper shelf. And then what you're going to choose then is bottle. From here then, what you're going to do is replace something from the lower shelf. And then we're going to choose can. The top option there, can. Can you do the can can? No, I can't. And then we're going to replace something from the middle shelf. And then we are going to replace that with bottle. So don't bottle it now. And finally, replace something from the lower shelf. And then choose empty. And that is how we'll get the first achievement there, Illusion of Control, and everything looks good. So check shelves. And look at you. Well, if you're old and you're in a bad mood, just do some shelf swapping and make things in a nice, neat order. Damn kids, getting my blood pressure up again, etc, etc. So spam through all this for uh, the time being. And what we're going to do is give them directions to the moose. So I don't know why they can't find a moose themselves, but there we go. So give them directions. And then next up, we're going to say, ask them why they want to know. Tell them about your dream. Well, I mean, it was me, my grandma, and a moose all in a bed together. I'm not sure what that means, though. <clears throat> So we are on to chapter 2, and again, as always, we're just going to choose the middle character. The first one, of course, was the prologue. This is the first chapter for Rizzle, Man Nizzle. So we're going to keep quiet, first of all, because that is how you get a girl to be attracted to you. You just keep quiet, and then remain quiet. Life advice again coming from me. Or you just need to look attractive, which I'm not. Um, answer the question. <laughs> Uh, 
And now for the next set, we've just got to ask her about everything. So give her a clue about the origin. And then give her a clue about the date. And then, of course, we're going to give her a clue about the myth. So we just spam through absolutely... <coughs> Sorry, that's the frog talking then. <coughs> um, so after we do this, we're going to do the same thing. So tell her to look at the folder. Yes, it's the top option. There we go. Uh, tell her to look in the box. Not that one. The one's at the bottom. And then tell her to look under the flashlight. Thought they said flashlight then. Jeez, what's going on? Tell her to see if there's something more. What I forgot to mention as well, we need to die every time. So there are seven deaths in the game, and this is the first one. So we're going to not stop the car. So don't stop the car. And then that's our first out of seven deaths. When we retry, we just go straight back to the last um, sort of checkpoint, or the last option, which was stop the car. So this time we are going to stop the car. Which, I mean, if you, if you want a bit of protein, that's fine. Uh, but otherwise, well, you wouldn't in real life, would you? So this is our second death. Um, and this does play out a bit randomly as well, and I'll tell you why, but first of all, we're just going to run straight to the car and get death number two out of seven. Now, what I mean by it's random is the coyotes on your side of the car, which is the right-hand side of the screen, can come sort of in any order. So, on your, on your game, it will play out differently. So, for me, the coyote has come from the rear of the car, so we're going to yell and gesture, and then I'm going to choose... Yell at the one of the coyotes on this side of the car. And then because it's come from the rear of the car, that is the right. So I'm going to yell at the coyote on the right. So obviously, whichever side it's on for you, or on your side of the car, it'll be either in the center or either on the left. So for me, it's just come on, on the center. So we're going to yell and gesture again. And then we're going to yell at the coyote coyotes on this side of the car. And then, of course, it is in the center. So I'll yell at the one in the center. Again, it's going to be random for you. Don't know why it's random, but there it is. And of course, this one, the one that you see right now for me is on the left. So on this side of the car, yell at the coyote on the left. So like I said, the one on the right is to the rear of the car. The one in the center is in the middle. The one, at the, coyote, the one on the left is closest to you. This time from now, it all plays out the same. So we're going to bang on the hood. So hopefully I just um, explained that rather well. If not, then feel free to hate me. Then we are going to throw a stone. And then what we're going to do is throw it on this side of the car. And then we are going to throw it on the coyote to, um, to your... In the center. Sorry, in the center. We're going to do it first. That gets rid of two. And then we're going to throw a stone... And we're going to throw it on this side of the car. And then, of course, we're going to throw it to your right. Because we've only got four stones with five coyotes, so we needed to get rid of the first two first, which is the one in the center. So throw a stone. Throw it at one of the coyotes on the other side of the car. Throw it to the coyote behind you. Skablam! And I didn't know coyotes were afraid of stones. So there we go. So the other side of the car, throw it to the, to the one on your right. And that's all it takes. So run to the car and then that's job done. That is the hunt the hunting packs achievement done. So yeah, so anytime you just see a coyote, make sure you've got a couple of pebbles with you. Throw it at them and they all disperse apparently. <laughs> the more you know. Huh? More life advice coming from me, which I probably wouldn't take all that well. So we're just going to play as Victoria. Again, we're just always picking the character down the middle. Lee turns off the car and looks at you in the eye. Well, we're going to smile back. That's what you do. Next up, we're going to say hi to some weirdo with, with a chicken head. Um... And then we're going to be getting a couple of achievements, including having to make a manual save. So, what we're going to do when we just spam through all this dialogue... We are going to adjust the diopter, which is the second option there. And then we're going to move it right once. So, 
click move right just the once. And then we're going to go back. Back, second crack. And then we're going to adjust the focusing wheel. And then we're going to move that left three times. So move it left three times. Not once, not twice, but thrice. And then we've got weird Mothman thing. And now this is where we're going to make a manual save. So very importantly, when the achievement unlocks, make sure to make a manual save here. This is very important because we need, um, basically we just need to reload the save and go the other, uh, basically choose the other option. So make a manual save here. And then when we get here, we are going to press yes. So we need to make a manual save basically before we do the drawing. So very important to do that. So we're going to draw the head first. And then we're going to choose Little Owl Head. Who got a little owl head? Roy Hodgson, football manager. Then we're going to draw the body. And then it's going to be a human chest with huge wings. Like me. Lats for days, this thing's got. Uh, draw the legs. And then choose weird bird-like legs. Very much like me, sadly enough, as well. I'm just trying to look like Johnny Bravo over here, man. Uh, so that's... When that's done, make sure to give Lou the notebook. And don't go speeding off too much. Just wait until the achievement unlocks. So we give him the, the, uh, the achievement. He's going to give us the achievement. Cheers, Big Lou. Uh, so just stay here for a minute. Once the achievement unlocks, we're going to reload the save. And we've basically given him a an accurate drawing. So for this one, we are going to make a really inaccurate, inaccurate drawing. So this time, of course, we're going to say yes. Hmm. Hmm. Let's say yes. There we go. Lou's very happy with that. Anything for you, Lou. So we're going to draw the head again, and this time we're going to choose alien-like head. Which is basically like a newborn when they first come out. Huh? I'm just joking. They're all cute. That looking like potatoes and stuff. Then we're going to choose draw the body. I'm so sorry. I'm just attacking newborns for no reason, though. Then we're going to choose a small round body with chicken wings. Could go for some chicken wings right now. Then draw the legs. And then we're going to choose wide hips and short legs. That's an attack on very on five foot people and below. And then we can give Lou the notebook. And that should then get us the unreliable witness achievement. And then we're going to play some solitaire. But it's not so bad just yet. Call me a mother effer, Victoria. Cheeky get. And for this one, we're going to close your eyes. And if you close your eyes, you might not get eaten tonight. Oh. So, we're going for romance, huh? <laughs> so, once again, then, it is the character in the middle, which will be Big Holt, the old, the old grandpa. You're still pissed off. Uh, but we are going to say, tell him about your grandma's legs. This dream is getting extremely weird. Your grandma's in your bed and you're talking to her about his legs, her legs. Okay. Right. So this is the, f so this is basically solitaire, but it's not as solitaire as you'd imagine it. Now you can explain it if you want to get a grasp on the rules. But basically, there's two achievements tied to it. You need to lose with more than 25 cards to go, and then lose with more than uh, with 15 or less cards to go. So basically, the objective is simple. So if you've got, say, I've got a jack there to start, what we're going to do though is turn over a card from the stock every time, pick black or red, and we'll basically lose the game. That's fine. We start off with 28 cards, but basically, the gist of it is, if you start, say, you start with a jack, you can either go with number 10 or queen and it doesn't matter what shape and it doesn't matter what color or what, yeah it doesn't matter what shape or what color it is as long as it's one above or one below basically this is how we play solitaire the luck basically comes from and when we lose the game we're just going to leave the game here but the luck basically comes from you've got to if you run out of cards you've got to pick a new card and you either pick black or red and if you pick the different one, you lose. So, again, I'll explain that in greater detail a little bit later on. But that is basically the gist of Solitaire. Um, but again, all we were doing then is just picking picking the card over and over until we lose to get the Solitaire bad run achievement. So, we are just playing as Victoria once again now. 
So sorry if I just over explained that there. Uh, but now we're going to answer everything. Or answer anything, sorry, the top one. Say yes. And with that one, this is going to get us the Dialogue Wizard achievement. So we haven't had a good death in a while, have we? So let's go and get one, shall we? So first things first, we're going to say, say it doesn't matter and leave the garage. And then we're going to stop being choked up in the air and stuff. Um, with, I, I can't remember who keeps choking us in the air. But what we're going to do is we're going to shoot the creature. Ah, we don't have a very good aim, so we're going to run back to Trent. Ah, we are going to uh, pull the chain. Do, 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 do. So pull the chain, and then we're going to hold on to the chain. So this is very important for death number three, I believe. Uh, hold on to the chain. That is going to kill us off yet again, unfortunately. But we can retry, lucky for us. And then we can just release the chain, of course. That is how we don't die this time. And he breaks his back, breaks his bones. It's a bit unfortunate, but there we go. So this next dialogue option is very important for the next achievement. Make sure to choose the top option, the three dots. So dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. There we go. And then we're just going to simply head into the next chapter. But this is where we're going to get the Macho Cry achievement. But it was important that we chose the three dot option in the last dialogue option. So choose Lee. And when we spam through this next dialogue, what we're going to say is... It, we're going to choose the top option, which is cry your heart out. So cry. Make sure to cry. That gets us the macho cry achievement. And it can sing a bit of Oasis while you do it if you want. So as we begin the next chapter, we are going to get the No Secrets achievement. I'm not sure if this is story related or not. I believe this is. So once you start this chapter, you should get the No Secrets achievement right about there it is. Oh, nice face, bro. So for the next option, what we're going to choose is the top one, which is suggest a plan. And we're actually going to get the next death as well. So suggest a plan. And then with the next one, we're going to choose the bottom option, which is going to be run to Elsie and Holt. Holt honestly just reminds me of Captain Holt from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So I can't really take that seriously. Um, in all fairness, if you know Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you will know Holt. Anyway, when we retry, we're going to tell Lou, Eddie and Lou, to take aim. Eddie must have already died. Then we're going to aim for the center lamp on the right, which is the third option. So aim for the center lamp on the right. Shoot. Yeah, this is for Eddie, man. You know, Eddie and Lou from Simpsons, cops. Yeah, you know. Tell Lou to take aim. And we're going to aim for the closest lamp on the right. So basically, all we're doing is going for the right side lamppost. We've only got... Three bullets for four opportunities. So, for the next one, we need to tell Lou to take aim. And aim for the farthest lamp on the right. And there we go. Shoot again. Three, two, one. Skablemo! And off goes the two creatures. So now we can run to Elsie and Captain Holt.
Right, so next dialogue option. It is going to be tell them about Liam. Liam, who turns into a Mothman werewolf thing, I suppose. Something. So I thought Holt was an old man, but he looks like. But anyway, check on your grandma. Apparently he's not old enough for his grandma to be alive. Um, where he was in bed with her and a Mothman. Uh, right, we're going to dial, move the dial to the left three times. So once, twice, and left thrice. So it doesn't matter which way you turn, all you hear is static. And I think your grandma's about to lose her nut. Literally. Okay, so in a bit she loses her nut. But what we're going to do is grab two achievements here. And the first one, uh, we're going to grab the puzzle historian. So interrupt the explanation. And then this time we're going to choose, obviously, examine pieces. And then we're going to rotate a piece from the first row. So the first row, on the top option there, rotate a piece from the first row. Rotate the first piece. And then we can go uh, rotate the piece to the left, sorry. So rotate the piece to the left, then we can go back. And we can test the pieces on the machine gun. And what we're going to do next is just uh, talk to Lou. Talk to Waterloo. Spam through the little bit of dialogue here. And then we're basically going to ask Lou to help us. So accept that Lou's help. And then what that'll do is give us the puzzle historian achievement and the... Rotation of the Earth makes my day achievement. So luckily we don't have to do this one, so happy with that one. Right, so what we're going to do before we crack on with this, we're going to die once again. This one is going to take about two or three minutes or so. So, what you're going to see is three options. Shoot in the right, the center, or the left. Um, obviously, when we do it proper, we'll have, to do, um, we'll have to do it in a specific order. But for now, what we're going to do is just aim to the right. And then press shoot. And then, of course, that's going to miss. And then you just keep aiming to the right. So for now, what we're going to do is just keep aiming to the right and shoot in. Until, um, I forget what her bloody name is, but she's going to kill these two. And then, for the next wave, we need to aim basically just down the center. So, Elsie. She is, she is big Elsie. You're a king. So we're just going to aim to the right. So we're going to keep missing, of course. We do need to die. Which, of course, you wouldn't do in real life, but hey, the stuff you do for achievements, huh? So for this time, what we're going to do then, we're just going to keep aiming to the center. So aim to the center until we basically die, and then we can retry and go again. Right, now we're going to do it properly then. So, first of all, we're going to aim to the center. And shoot. And that one's done. Next, we're going to aim to the left. Kill that guy dead. And then we're going to simply aim to the right. Now, of course, if the monsters get one step too close, Elsie will always shoot one for us. So... That um, always comes in handy, so remember that if you want to try and do this yourself. But of course, if not, we're just going to, well, just carry on with what I'm doing. So we're going to aim to shoot down the center. Now, what you'll see is, if you don't shoot all the way down, they turn into this big red monster. But again, if they get too close, else you'll shoot them dead, which is always handy again. She is big else. Right. So, first things, uh, first things first, what we're going to do is aim to the left and shoot. So that will kill all three of them dead. Or basically almost all dead. I love, I, you know, I love the little music, music bit when, uh, when it goes red. It is quite chilling. Next, we're going to aim to the center. 
And then of course, finally, what we're going to do is aim to the right to finish this wave. So, very important decision here, we need to stay shooting bipeds. Now, this looks like it could be quite awkward and confusing, but it's really not. All we're going to do is aim to the right and shoot. So, aim to the right and shoot. Sorry, that's the frog in my throat getting me a little bit. Uh, 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 <clears throat> excuse me. That's a nice red thing for us. Right, next we're gonna aim to the left and shoot again. And we just, and the red moose man thing is going to kill everyone else off for us, which is, well, tinks. Okay, almost everyone. We've just gotta to aim to the right ones and shoot. <laughs> So this one you do have to do a couple more things this time. So what we're going to do first then is aim to the center and let shoot. Skablamo Marge. So shoot all the bros in the center. I'm sorry, but if you didn't try to eat me and stuff, then I wouldn't have to do this. Next, we're going to uh, aim to the right and shoot, of course. And then we're going to aim to the left. Ah! Man, Elsie is a king. She is queen on this goddamn shotgun. So aim to the left, and then of course we're going to aim to the center for the very final one. And that's the end of that chapter. So it wasn't too bad, was it? It just takes a few minutes to smash through that. So we're just going to crack on as normal. Now this is where we're going to get our next and final two deaths, actually. So, smash through, and then Grandma Elsie holds Grandma, who he keeps dreaming about being in bed with her, is uh, off her nut. This is where she's off her nut. So we're going to push this time. We're going to push old um, nut job off. That's going to kill us dead. And then we can simply retry. Now we should only have one more death left to get. So this time we're going to pull. Oh, we're going to pull Grandma Elsie, are we? <laughs> then we're going to push. Actually, not when she's in that state. Have a shower, hun. Have a shower first. Push again. And, okay, right. We're definitely not going to try and pull Grandma Elsie this time. She did. Right, these next three dialogue options are timed, but we're not actually going to choose anything first. So wait until the timer runs out. It's literally two or three seconds, as you can see there. But this should be our final death. And then what you need to pick is left, get down, right. And you need to do them quickly as you can. It takes about, it's only about two or three seconds to get to answer. So remember, it's left. So the achievement should unlock here. Then we can retry and make sure to go left, get down, and then right. Okay? Remember. Remember that. I believe in you. Right. Left. Get down. And then right. And then that's the end of that chapter. Pigman. Where did they get my likeness from? So anyway, this is the end of the game. What we're going to do is just pick the top option one more time to lay a hand on Lee's shoulders. And then, this is also very important, when the credits start rolling, do not skip them. We, uh, if you skip the credits, you'll miss out on a visible achievement. So when the credits roll, it's going to say, it's going to come up with the end here. So when the credits roll, make sure again to not skip the credits. Never skip the credits, just put your controller down as soon as it says the end, which it should do right now. There it is. Put your controller down now. Don't skip the credits. The credits are not too long. They only take about a minute or so. So just have a relaxo rancho. Just chill out. Just take a whiz, you know. Have a look at your phone. See if anyone's um, messaged you on Tinder yet. Which, no doubt, 
they have, because you are goddamn beautiful. Um, but yeah, so from now, don't touch it. Um, just wait until the achievement unlocks. Again, it takes about a minute, a minute and a half. I've just, I'm just going to edit it out just a little bit. And then we've only got one more stinky achievement to go, which is the solitaire one, which I will explain properly this time. So there we go. We've got the credits, uh, watching the credits until the end achievement. Now, as you can see, we've got the solitaire option. Um, available to us. So do, you've got no pressure to actually go ahead and play the game. You can choose as many options as you like, but this is as random as hell. And it's random, like I said, in terms of the cards that you get dealt. And if you ch if you end up choosing a black or red one, Halt, you're a complete douchebag for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a full game of sort of what can go wrong and what can't go wrong, etc. So as you can see then, I've got a number 9 to start off with there at the bottom. If I've got a number 8 or a number 10, that means I can use one of those cards regardless of, um, regardless of colour and regardless of shape. So, what we can do is obviously select a card. And because there's a number 8 immediately there on our left, I am going to choose the third option then to move selected card to the discard pile. So now what I've got to look for, because it's a number 8, either a number 9 or a number 7. Since there's not one there, we have to turn over a card from the stock. And then obviously hope that if I choose a black one, that a black one comes up. Or if I choose the red option, that a red card comes up. If not, obviously you lose the game and you have to start again. This is where the annoyingness comes into it. Now, as you can see, I've just got an ace, which is all good. What is good about this is you can use it with a number two or king. So like I said, have a look at your cards and see which one will be better. So for instance, if I've got a two here, I'll use a two, but then I can use an ace, which then means I can use a king. And then I've got a queen as well. So always have a look and see which way would be better because it's no good. See if you've got a number six card, no good having a number seven card if you've got nothing else to go on top of that seven. But if you've got a number 5 card, and then you've got a number 4 and 3 in it as well. Obviously, you'll want to try and get rid of as many cards as possible. So that is the easiest sort of way I can do it. It's, it's not bad. This took me about 15 minutes, I think, um, of sort of randomness uh, before, obviously, uh, the achievement unlocked. So, uh, And then, obviously, by the end, I just kept going through the button prompts a little bit quicker. But obviously, I'm just showing you sort of what can go wrong and sort of... The, 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 bit, the best way that I can kind of explain this. Um, but yeah, you need to get to 15. You need to lose with 15 or less cards. And you always start off with 28. So as you can see, I'm about to lose here, which just... It can get annoying. I'm not going to say it, it, it's easy. It can get annoying. So just, just keep sticking with it, because you will get it within 10 to 15 minutes, hopefully. But as you can see, again... You'll just get to the point where you'll just get a good bunch of cards. For me, like I said, 6 and a 5, and then I end up getting a 4. I've already got 15, so I can already lose if I want to. Uh, but yeah, so that will be it then. So hopefully, you enjoyed the game, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. Hopefully, the solitaire one's not too bad for you as well. <laughs> but if the guide did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, again, big huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals are just uh, honestly such legends. It, it truly does blow me away. So thank you so, so much for that. And uh, well, there we go then, guys and gals. Nice easy one, apart from solitaire for you. I shall see you in the next one. <laughs> big love.